What is going on y'all? I've been shooting Compound Instinctively with a release for a good while now, but I've always wanted to go to Compound Instinctive Fingers. The Oneida Phoenix seems to be the answer, so let's run over to Bass Pro Shop, pick one up, see what this thing will do. Setting up the Oneida. I'm gonna get to shoot it for the first time here in a minute. Can't wait. While we're here at Bass Pro, we might as well get Teresa's bow looked at. Get some few things changed. She wanted to add a new peep and just get it set up generally for the season. So I went to a local shop here in Corpus Christi. I'm gonna put a flip rest on it for right now because I'm not sure what the ultimate rest would be for this Oneida. Comment below if you know, man. If you have a good rest on your Oneida and you like it, please let me know what to get. They go on there, take one, they give you three of them. So when you tear that one up, you can put another one on there. That's what I got. Good deal, man. All right, cooking with grease. All right, so I bought a dozen of these gold tip hunters. I've been shooting 400s for a long time. It just seems kind of be a meat potato spine for me. Sometimes I bear shaft tune. The ranges I've been shooting, it's really not making a difference. So I'm just trying to get it at a comfortable length past the riser. I really like shooting fingers with this with this bow. I fletched one of these arrows at 29 and a half and I fletched one at 30 inches. I'm not seeing much of a difference at all. Shooting with a flipper rest. Real simple, $30. Normally I can't, but I can't decide whether I should be canting with this bow or not. It almost seems like straight up and down I'm doing better. Fingers are great. No, no glove needed, man. I mean, that was dead on. I'm only shooting like 15 yards, maybe. Ooh, that was way off. I don't know what happened on that one. Yeah, you know, shooting at that little flap. <clears throat> Could be tighter. I'm getting used to it though. I'll figure it out. Well, it feels like it's past the riser right where it should be. Drop back. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah. Just trying to get her set. I'm not getting any kind of swim or dolphin. A lot of my shots I'm shooting are less than 20, more like seven to 18 yards, let's say. A lot of close shots where I'm hunting, so let's keep rocking. All right, let's go take a look. I'm getting a feel for it now. I'm kind of getting a feel for how I need to hold it, what my sight picture is. Now we're getting dialed in. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you get a chance to shoot with these Oneidas, I highly suggest you go try one. They're pretty slick. A lot of power, man. I kind of get the recurve longbow feeling. I'm right behind the fletching and I can see the fletching. I get that, just that feeling of traditional archery, but I got that compound power. That way if I'm a little off and I hit that shoulder, I'm gonna blow through it anyway. And hunting the small portions of land that I hunt, small amounts of acreage, it's, it's, it's real important for me to take close shots and not have to track very far and be able to knock these animals down. And I think that Oneida is gonna do it for me. Catch y'all later.